I'm headed to school and my first stop of the day is Starbucks. This was what daily life looked like for 16-year-old Presley Ryan. I actually go to a performing arts school in the city. The star of Beetlejuice the Musical on Broadway on March 10th, 2020. I just finished school and now I'm headed to dance. I followed her around New York City to see what it was like for a teenager who went to public school, took dance classes, and also had a leading role on Broadway. What we didn't know was that everything Presley worked for to get here Mama, you set aside. Out of time. was about to come to a crashing halt. 7 o'clock and it's time for a show. Bye, thanks for watching. As we recorded Presley heading for the stage, we didn't realize it would be her very last performance. Before Broadway was shut down, the show closed indefinitely, and a new marquee would take its place. It's so crazy, like that whole day was a very significant day. You're we like, oh, this is just another random day. No idea that this was like the last time, the last day before Broadway shut down, like everything. What do you miss the most about what your life was a year ago? I definitely miss the whole schedule of it all. I miss like going to school and seeing my friends and like walking all the time. So I put together some clips from that day on March 10th. Let me know what you think or any memories that come to mind or your reaction to watching some of this footage. Oh my goodness. I like, I can't imagine going on a subway with like all these people and no mask. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I like need to use it more often. Mia! That was my last day at school too. Like I haven't been back since. I took the PSATs on Wednesday last week. So I took the test and then I had to leave early for my matinee. So I just bubbled a bunch of random answers and left. I remember we were talking about how like I took the PSAT like a few days before and I just bubbled in like a bunch of random answers. I'm taking the SAT next weekend. I think I know what I'm doing now. I've taken this time to study and like perfect everything so now Hopefully. No, I will not bubble any random answers. Like, I will know what the answer is and hopefully get a good score. I'm ready to do a show. It's crazy. Like, the gravity of it all is, like, hitting me now. Like, this was the last time that, like, I walked into the theater, like, before performing. It's crazy. Wow. I actually have this big bag of, like, fan art and different things and fan mail that I actually have to send back to people, so... Hopefully I'll do that soon. What was it like going back and clearing out your dressing room? It was definitely heartbreaking. There's been so many memories that I've had in the theater and... I'm back at the theater. With the show and leaving the dressing room was kind of just a sign of it all coming to a close. So it was definitely really hard. There was never really an end or closure to it all. As for those fan letters Presley had in a bag that she promised to write back, it's just been sitting in my closet. I should just like leave a day for myself and just go through it all and send it back to these people. I hopefully will do that at some point. What's the first place you want to go back to in New York when when things reopen? Ooh, um, the theater. Like I would love to go like see a Broadway show to experience that again. Like even me as a performer, like I get such joy from like watching other people perform and like going to a Broadway show. And that's kind of what this whole business and industry and like dream kind of is. It's like the magic when you like sit in the theater and the show starts and the orchestra starts playing. It's just an amazing feeling. And like to finally like have shows open again and to like be able to go back and like see them or perform in them is just, I can't wait for that. Oh, 